Okay, um, so I'm just going to provide a, a couple of slides and introduction to the phase two strategy and then we'll move through um, into the discussion or presentation of the the thematic research. And it's there, this is a really short overview of the strategy, how we got there and importantly um, what the research objectives will be. Um, so the vision and the mission uh, for the challenge remain exactly the same as are set to us by MB with that New Zealand has healthy marine ecosystems providing value for all. And that's been the vision and the mission um, from day one. So the mission is to transform our ability to enhance our marine economy and improve decision making and the health of our seas, our seas through ecosystem based management. So as Julie has explained yesterday that the whole concept behind this is that we shift the way in which we do the, blue, the economy to a blue economy that supports a healthy ecosystem and in turn that healthy ecosystem underpins a blue economy. And the tool for allowing us to do that is through an ecosystem based approach, uh, management approach to our marine environments. So the f what we've started off in about this time last year was a series of discussions with iwi and stakeholders about what success would look like for the challenge and what research was needed for the challenge. So the SLT spent a lot of time talking to stakeholders in iwi about the new directions and the new research needed for phase two of the challenge. And from, from those discussions, it became clear that we needed to shift our thinking from the program approach where we tended to silo the research into dynamic seas which for example contained most of the biophysical science, um, our seas which contained a lot of the social science, to integrate this thinking into themes that better aligned with Māori and stakeholders' aspirations and needs for the challenge. And so in doing so, the SLT, with help and input from the International Science Panel, Kahui, the board, and our stakeholder panels and tags, came up with four unifying themes. And we've been socialising these themes during the conference by aligning the talks that we've been giving in the last day and a half into these different um, thematic approaches. So there's degradation and recovery in socio-ecological systems, creating value in a blue economy, addressing risk and uncertainty and enhancing EBM principles. Now, as with phase one of the challenge, um, the Tangaroa program remains as an entity in itself, but that too research will be integrated into these various themes. And of course, delivering on Vision Mataranga is also an important uh, part of the phase two research. So what we're going to do today, as Karen talked, is I'll take five minutes to talk a little bit about degradation and recovery. Um, Nick, I think, is going to talk to the blue economy, Judy, in terms of addressing risk and uncertainty, and Janet in enhancing EBM practice. And Carolyn's going to lead off a little bit of uh, discussion around and a presentation on our approach and how we're going to get from where we are today um, tomorrow. And of course, at this stage, it's all hypothetical until we hear about the pun. Linda and James. Linda and James, sorry. <laughs> Gosh, I forgot Linda and James. We'll talk about the Hungaroa program and vision metric. Apologies, Linda and James. And then, of course, we're still waiting on the funding decision, but hopefully they'll smile nicely upon us. So theme one is degradation and recovery. And this theme is the one that's going to be addressing effectively the cumulative effects part of the, the research program. We've heard a lot of talks today that have spanned the biophysical science through into the social science impacts on, on values. And we understand from lots of the talks today that today's management reality in the marine space there's a lot of stresses happening in these systems, there's a lot of new activities wanting to start in the marine space, and that these, we need better ways of understanding um, how these cumulative effects impact on marine function, but how those functions translate through into services and impact on societal values. And it became clear with our discussions with uh, stakeholders in iwi that they needed four things that they were interested in. One, they wanted a better understanding of how these effects manifest themselves in terms of impacting on ecological function and how that translated through into values for society. They wanted to know strategies which we could manage stresses better within these systems to improve recovery and increasing the health of our eco marine ecosystems. They wanted to know a little bit about how we could scale up or an ability to scale up our ecological knowledge of cumulative effects through into across scales into management decisions. And these Different questions and these different themes came through multiple times through these stakeholders' uh, meetings that we held. So our overarching question for this theme revolves around what knowledge and processes are needed to predict and manage the effects of multiple activities on marine ecosystems and the values they provide for New Zealanders. 
So as you would have seen from the last day and a half, this theme just hasn't pu pulled itself and magically reappeared. There's a strong basis of research that's been undergoing across multiple programs within the challenge that provides a foundation and a base for moving forward. The interesting thing in, with this challenge and integrating into a theme is we'll be drawing these different strands together to provide a more integrative um, overview of degradation and recovery within our coastal and marine uh, open ecosystems. So the research needs that came through our stakeholder meetings were about multiple stresses and a changing climate, so the things we can control versus the things that are occurring at larger scales in a warmer, more acidified ocean. The footprints of response to stresses, so moving from beyond mapping where things are going to actually what the spatial extent of that is in terms of the impacts on function and values. Critically, how much additional activity can be accommodated within a system before a tipping point is passed and what impedes the recovery of ecological function and values in different contexts. So moving from a degradation and impact to thinking about how can we change practice to improve uh, ecological health. And of course, the relationships between ecological function, cultural and societal values, we need new understanding in that. So to advance our new understanding, we're going to need new theories, models and empirical research for assessing connectivity that incorporate the multiple scales of ecological change, an improved ability to predict tipping points and critically lags in recovery and what's holding us back from getting uh, back to a, a healthier system. Models that link ecological function and societal behaviour. So we need greater connectivity between human behaviour and the ecological functions and the interactions between them. And we need to talk about the linkages between ecological function, services and values. So these are the key research areas we think we need um, for this theme. New for phase two, of course, is we're starting to move from understanding about our impacts to thinking about how we can improve ecosystem functionality. What are the hysteresis or the lags that are preventing us when we stop activities or manage activities differently from returning into a previous state? And in this multiple contested state, especially in the coastal systems, but also in the shelf and open ocean ecosystems, this will be um, really important. And it's an exciting addition, I think, um, for phase two. New for phase two, of course, and it'll be a theme that'll come through in the other talks as well, is integration. So we're hopefully moving from our siloed research into a more integrative platform that'll allow us to connect more readily with the biophysical science, the social science, to the tools that are needed to manage. So we're looking to integrate science and Mataranga Māori will be a very important component with this theme and across all of the themes. Development of social ecological models where human and societal behaviour are coupled with ecological function and values, and the strengthened linkages between the biophysical science, management tools, and, and the feedbacks with society. So that's um, degradation and recovery in two minutes. Nick. No.